morning guys on a Saturday morning in the Burger Valley up nice and early packed my lunch cameras yeah bits and pieces got a captain in the back of my dog a blue cattle dog he usually goes well he goes most places with me uh, photographing of course depends where I'm going and and whatnot so uh, yeah so I'm heading out to work with a mate today to operate his dozer a new cat um, next gen d5 which is a little machine that I absolutely love um, and it's not little anymore the d5 size 170 horsepower um, high track next gen dozer so yeah going out to help him catch up on a bit of work before Christmas <coughs> and yeah take some photos and pieces so yeah I'll be posting something some content on my channel um, yeah so keep an eye out for that I'll do some little snippets through the day <coughs> and um, yeah do a bit of editing and yeah showcase some other parts of the valley a bit of rural area and whatnot so um, yeah that's what I'm up to on a Saturday today. But it is what it is. I like doing it, so it's my choice. And um, yeah, and thanks to Maddie's workshop um, last week as well. I dropped in and saw Maddie. I've known Maddie for years. <coughs> Maddie used to drive trucks for a local company and that, but now he does his sort of own work at home and uh, does some fantastic work machining in his little workshop um, so yeah get on board and check out Matty and he also I dropped in a couple of calendars of, uh, of, of um, printed photographed and printed uh, some content for uh, calendars of showcasing the Sapphire Coast of New South Wales and um, yeah, so popped in and dropped off a couple to Maddie, and um, yeah, thanks to Maddie for showcasing my calendars, and um, it has generated a couple of extra sales. So really appreciate it, Maddie, and thank you for that. Um, absolutely fantastic. But yes, uh, tomorrow probably have tomorrow off. Catch up on a bit of work at home. Bits and pieces, so yeah, anyway, awesome day. Look at the weather, absolutely cracker. Got, got me coffee, heading out early start. That's my like start early, get into it, get the job done, and get back home. Anyway, thanks, guys. This is what the day looks like today, guys. It's in the Vega Valley. Look at the stunning scenery. Very fertile land. And that's a bank. But yeah, we'll come here. Look at that. Magnificent. I'm heading out on the Candelow Vega Road. <coughs> about 20 minutes away uh, to the job to jump into the little dozer and um, yeah Jason will be in the excavator next gen excavator 323 so yeah look forward to that stunning country in the Vega Valley look at this beautiful undulating dairy cattle over there that's my cousin's big dairy farm there I often come out and do a few jobs there on weekends and days off and things like that when I can. Do some mowing, maintenance on the machinery. Yeah, just bits and pieces. There it is up there. Beautiful property, all irrigated. Good irrigated pasture. <clears throat> a little bit dry at the moment, uh, even though we've had a lot of rain, but we haven't had rain for a couple of weeks. Lots of wind, and we've had hot wind. It's just drying things out a bit. At the entrance to their property there. So I'll mow all that, keep all that tidy, sprayed, 
and maintain like a parkland. We're nearly on site. <coughs> Just heading out on the yeah, West Cabaruka Road here. This day just gets better and better. Beautiful weather. But anyway, I'll have fun. Uh, doing things. Earth moving, pushing dirt. And, uh, yeah. Keep an eye out for. Just heading up a little lane here called Queera Lane or Quira Lane. This is where we're heading, jumping the gear. So yeah, I'm not sure what the job is, but I think I'm in the dozer, which will be great. It doesn't matter what I'm in. Um, be the digger, whatever. But yeah, nice little lane here. It's actually a council road, the council maintains. Um, yeah, nice little road. This is where we're at, on the farm now. Out here cutting silage too, so that'll be good. You can see it all wind road over there and just here too. All mowed, wind road, ready to pick up. So yeah, we might be able to get some shots of that too today, hopefully. And then that'll be good. There she is, yeah, you can see it over there. This is the road, this is the road Jason's been working on here, the farming farmer's driveway and that um, yeah coming down to all the gear here now see the grader there John Deere grader 670 um, here we go there's the dozer there's the digger there's all the gear what a place digging big holes Going good here. Talk about clearing the brain fog from the normal day to day work. Unreal getting back into cat gear. Especially that little D5 next gen. Friggin' unbelievable that thing. I'm just walking up the road now to grab a, one of the rollers to belt this, um, get some packed the gravel in, in this hole where they want a bit of gravel, a bit of a borrow pit on the farm to wind gravel to fix up the road. So. Just walking up the hill, grab the little cap roller into it. And that's a big hole we've got to fill in there where they borrowed some gravel to do all the roadworks. Um, that's what we do on farms because it's too expensive to um, buy in gravel and transport it. Massive cost. Otherwise, yeah, farmers would never get this sort of work done. So this will be all rehabilitated, the pasture, plenty of topsoil put back around it. So yeah, it'd be pretty good. <laughs> Operating this big uh, John Deere 8530 uh, tractor, and she's coupled with a uh, 30 ton dumper. It's been modified the hitch um, to work on the farms and that. Quicker than the truck, can be quicker than the scraper at times, loading with the digger. Um, but yeah, this thing is fantastic. 300 horsepower. John Deere um, drags it around, no worries at all. We'll just go in over to clean out some other drains and bring back here to this hole and top up the hole a bit more. But this thing's unreal.
getting there, filling the big hole in, um, just level a fair bit of it off and uh, putting it in, in layers and then I'll jump in the roller. I've been jumping in the roller every now and again and um, do a bit of compaction. It's only the smooth drum but um, it'll, as long as we get some sort of compaction in the hole to to uh, settle it down for the farmer. Yeah, so this dozer is unreal, this D5. I love it. But yep, there you go. Well, that's this side done, all trimmed nicely, topsoil, that hole's all filled in. Yeah, not bad, not bad for a bloke that not in dozers all the time. Pretty good. Fantastic machine to finish off with these D5s with the pat blade.